In this video, I'm going to take you through and show you how you can create a much more bespoke login experience and dashboard experience for your clients and or for yourself. If this interests you, stick around and I'll take you through how to do all of that now with WordPress, Elementor and some simple free plugins. So let's quickly take a look at what I'm talking about. As you can see, this is our login section. We've got nice branding at the top for our website. We've got a nice color background. We've also got the ability to customize this actual login form so we can change the colors on there to make sure that everything sits and fits with our branding. Let's go ahead and log in. And I'm just gonna click on the login option and that'll take us through into our dashboard where you can see we've got a fully customized dashboard panel that gives us a welcome that's specific to us. It shows us our profile picture. It also gives us a welcome message, a contact form that will come directly through to us, the developer. And if we scroll down, we've got the option then for some nice simple videos that'll help your end user get started using the website. As you can see, everything sits and fits nicely inside that branding. We've also got a much more customized looking dashboard. So you just need to make sure you've got Elementor Pro so we can build out our own templates using the theme builder. And apart from that, all the other plugins we're going to use are completely and utterly free. So let's take a look at how we can start building something like this very quickly inside WordPress. I'm Paul C. This is WP Tuts, the channel where I help you get more from WordPress. If you like the content we create, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is uploaded to the channel. Okay, so I'm gonna clear all this out and we're gonna start building this again from scratch. This is your typical looking dashboard for WordPress. It's not the most welcoming, it's not the most user-friendly and hasn't really changed in quite a long time. So if you're developing a site for a client or you're going to have other people logging in, it's much nicer to give them something a little bit more professional and a little bit more personalized. So let's take a look at the tools we're going to use. So we're going to jump over into the plugin section. We're going to come down and say add new. From there, we're going to search first of all for Slate. So we're going to just search for that. And this is a completely free admin theme. Now you can purchase the pro version and that allows you to get rid of the branding and so on at the bottom of it. Again, that's one of those things that's entirely up to you. If you're doing this to offload to a client and you don't want them to know what you're using, that might be something worth considering. But for us, we're just gonna keep with the free version so you can see how it all works. Now there are tons of other admin themes out there, so you don't have to use this one. Some are free, some are paid for. Take a look at those, see which you think is gonna fit into the style that you want to portray for your dashboard in WordPress. Let's install this. Once it's installed, we'll activate it. And other than that, there's nothing really much you have to do with it. So we'll activate it and we'll see immediately, once that's activated, the dashboard will change over to our newer design. So looks pretty cool already. Even if you just offload it like this, this already looks better than the default WordPress. But we wanna go further than this. Let's come back in and add a new plugin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a plugin called White Label. Just search for that. Uh, there we go, White Label CMS. Now this has been around for quite some time and you'll probably know the, the company and the people behind it. It's the Video User Manual and this is Troy Dean who is big in the WordPress space. This is free, there is some branding inside there but you can do a lot with this and you can stop your end user seeing any of that branding. You don't even be the person that would see it. But I think the power and functionality that it adds into what you can do in your dashboard far outweighs that little bit of branding. So let's download, install that once that's done, we'll activate it and we'll take a look at the, some of the things we can do. So let's activate this. Once we've done that, we can come into the settings. So we're gonna come into the settings and you see we have a new section in there called White Label CMS. So we can click and take a look inside there. Now there's two stages to this. First thing we're gonna do is create or set up the actual login section. And there are tons of options inside here. So I'd recommend if you download this and test this out on a development server, take a look at some of the options because they go far beyond what I want to cover in this particular video. Now we're gonna not worry about the developer name and URL and so on. We're gonna skip that, just go to the next. And if we want to do, we can put the client's business name in there and the login logo. So let's upload a login logo. So we're gonna use this one. And we're going to say insert into post. If you wanted to use a retina logo as well, you can enable that and you can upload a retina logo. Now, basically, your retina logo is going to be double the resolution or double the file size of your normal logo. This just means that anyone that's using a retina based device like a Mac or so on will get the best looking logo, making sure that it just looks good on their device and on normal devices. We'll save that. Once we've done that, that'll take us then into where the real meat and bones of this particular plugin are. You can see we have five sections, branding, login, 
dashboard menus and settings. Like I say, I'm not gonna go through all the kinds of things inside here because there are a ton of options, so take a look for yourself and see what it all does. First thing we're gonna do, let's make sure we're gonna come into the login section. And inside here, you can see we've got the logo we want to use. Again, the Retina logo option. We can also go in the logo width and height. Now this will automatically pick this up once you upload a logo and you select it, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But you can if you want to do things like add extra margins and so on into there. If we scroll down, you can see we have a live preview option. And if we click on that, that'll show us exactly what's going on with our dashboard or with our login section at this point in time. So you can see it already looks a little different, but we can't see the background image. We can't see the logo because it's white. So let's rectify that now. Let's come back out of this. We're gonna scroll down and you see we've got background color, which we can change if you want a solid color, you could do that. We're gonna use an image just to make it look a bit more interesting. So we're gonna upload that. I'm gonna simply grab the image that I want to work with and I'm gonna upload that to my dashboard. Once that's uploaded, I'm just going to put some alt text in there. We just put login. There we go. And we'll set this to be full size and insert into the post. Now, again, we can come down, say live preview, and that'll show us now. And you can see now our logo stands off and everything is starting to look a little bit better. We do still have to deal with the lost your password and back to my WordPress. So let's come back out of this and scroll down to the settings and we can just choose what we want to do. So background position is fine center center. We don't want this to repeat, so we can say no repeat on there. Now under the advanced section, we can now go through and fine tune some other things. So if we want to stop people seeing the register and the lost your password link, we could just check that little radio box and that will then hide it. However, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hide this back to link. We're gonna scroll down and you can see we've got all the controls for our form if we wanna just change the color on there. So you can see we can simply come in. We can also adjust all the color options on this. There's tons of options available to us. Let's just clear that from there. We've got scroll down. You can see we can just come through and we've got the privacy policy link text and so on. So let's just set these to be white to make sure that everything looks good on that background. So we'll set that to be white. We can change the hover if we want to as well. Change the privacy policy, come in, set that to be white. Hit our live preview. And now you can see everything just looks that little bit more in keeping and looking the way we want to. So let's close that down. Let's hit save on there. Okay, cool, so we've now done our login page. The next thing we wanna do is set this up so we can start working with the dashboard and create our own custom sections inside there. Go to the dashboard option, you can see we can change the icon, the title and so on. So if you wanted to change this and brand this, you could do that as well. You can hide all your dashboard panels, add your own welcome panel, which is what we want to do. So we can click on that and you can see that opens up to say, what roles do you want to see this particular panel? So you can set this up to be only specific roles and then you can add a second panel if you want to by coming down, you can see we can add a second panel, at which point we've got all the same controls inside there, so we could just change that over. So this gives you control over those different aspects of what roles will see this particular login. Now, as you can see, we are kind of limited to only two different options. So if that doesn't really fit into what you want to do, you don't have to use the custom welcome dashboard panel section inside white label CMS. You can use another free plugin. If we just come over, you'll see this is a plugin called Dashboard Welcome for Elementor. Again, this is one of those plugins that's been made by a well-known development company. These are the people that are behind the Power Pack for Elementor, which is another great plugin pack for Elementor itself. So this is free and will give you more granular control over this and it'll work in fundamentally the same way but only for that welcome screen. So like I say, if you want to check that out, you can do and then you can bypass the way we're going to do it inside this white label CMS plugin. Now, once we choose to add our own welcome custom panel and you can see it opens up the template type. If we know HTML and we want to keep it really simple, we could just simply put a title in, drop in the HTML inside there and then let that take control. Or we can use Elementor. Or if you use Beaver Builder Pro, you can also use that, which I don't at this point in time. So you can see once you do that, it opens up and says, please choose the template that you want to use. Well, currently we haven't created that template yet. So let's take a look at how we do that. Let's save this first of all, just to make sure that everything is now saved and in place. What we're gonna do now is come to the template section for Elemental Pro and come into Theme Builder. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna come over and we're gonna say we want to create a new page. So we're gonna say add new, from here, we're just gonna come down and say page, and we're gonna call this welcome dashboard. Create our template. 
And from there, we can start using the Elementor page builder to create our custom dashboard template. So first of all, let's come down and just change some of the settings inside here. We want to hide the title and our page layer, we're just going to use Elementor. Elementor canvas, that'll be fine. Okay, so let's start building things. Let's create a new section. And from here, the first thing we're going to do is we want to put in the image that's going to be associated with our particular user account. Now, we can do that with Elementor Pro because we can now access things like the user account details, which is very useful when we're going to do something like this. So we're going to come over, simply going to grab an image and drop that into there. Choose the dynamic option. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down, you see it says use profile picture or user profile picture. We'll click that, drop that inside there. Everything is now set up. So we'll just set that to be centered. Come into our style section and we're going to put a border radius of 100 in there. That puts a nice circle around it. We'll put a border type then of solid and we'll set that to be 5 pixels and white. And then what we can do finally is just drop in a little box shadow on there just to make it stand off and drop the opacity down on that shadow. So we've now dropped in our user profile picture. So we already see when you log in, if you've got a user profile associated with you and you've got that picture there, then you'll have that. So it has a more sort of like professional looking welcome. Obviously it's up to you if you want to put this in there or not. Next up, we're going to come in and we're going to drop in a simple heading, drop that underneath there. Again, we're going to utilize that dynamic information. So we're going to come in, come into the dynamic option. We're going to scroll down and you can see we have under site, we've got user info. So we can click on user info, click on the little wrench icon, and that allows us to choose what user info we want to reference. So we're going to choose the field, and it's up to you now whether you want to use the display name, the username, first name, or any other data that's available in there. But obviously, if you choose something like the first name or the last name, that needs to be put in there, otherwise you're going to get blank information. So up to you how you want to do it. We'll just say for this example, we're going to use the username. Can I cut out the before and after then for the advanced section? All we can do is we can just put in a more welcoming message. So we we'll say, hey, then we'll have that name. So you can see it pops that up on, on there. And we can just say, welcome to your dashboard. And let's put a little comma and a space in there. So you can see now we've got a much more welcoming welcome message, as it were. So we can come out now and we can style this any way that we want to. Up to you how you want to do that, but you can see we now have a much more interesting looking dashboard section. So now that we've done that, let's just go and grab an inner section. And like I say, you can build this out any way you want. You can put whatever you want to inside here. I'm just going to sort of drop in some filler information that kind of looks good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put in a heading section. So we're going to drop in a heading inside here. So we'll come in and we'll just drop that inside there. We'll come over and we'll just grab a text editor section. We'll copy that a couple of times. Now, I'm not going to worry about filling this out. You could fill this out with whatever information you wanted to. Okay, so we'll drop that in there. And next up, we're going to come to the next section and we'll just put a simple form inside here. Drop that in there. We'll take off the labels. And there we go. So just change that button now. Just so it's a bit more in keeping with the style of what we're doing here. So we'll just say the background color is going to be the purple color that's being used on the front end of the site. And we'll set that to be white. So you can see we can set these things up very quickly and very easily. We can hit publish now if you want to. So the next thing to do is just add a little bit of spacing and some styling to this. So we've got something in place and then we'll crack on and take a look at how we actually then reference this inside that white label CMS plugin. Now that we have our dashboard all set up and ready inside Elementor using the templates, we're now ready to go and reference that inside the plugin. So let's come out of this. Let's exit to our dashboard. What we're going to do is come back into our settings and back into the white label CMS settings. From here, we're going to come over to our dashboard. And inside here, we're going to scroll down. Elementor is set up inside there. All we need to do is just choose the template and we say, welcome dashboard. We can hide or show the title if we want to. We'll leave that as hidden. And you can see we can also do things like add our own RSS feed. So if we had something like some news and information on our key main website and we're using this for our clients, we could easily put that simple RSS feed inside there and they could have information about the new services we may offer or anything else we have. We're going to leave this as it is. So we're just going to take a little look, make sure everything is in place and we'll hit save. And once we've done that, if we come back and take a look at our dashboard now, we should find that we've got our new section at the top. Let's come back to our dashboard and there's our new welcome section with our welcome name, our 
profile picture, information, a contact form, and some useful videos that'll help us. Now you can see underneath that, we've got drag these boxes and nothing's inside there. We've also got the screen options and nothing is pretty much inside there either. Well, we can still fine tune and tweak that even further. Let's just hop back into our settings for white label CMS. Let's just hop over to the dashboard section and you can see we've got an option that says hide all dashboard panels. Now you may or may not want this to be the case. Let's click and expand that and you can see what we can do now is we can choose what we want to hide. So we may say that we actually want to have the at a glance activity, recent comments and so on. So we may want to fine tune that. So we can do that very easily. All we need to do is just choose the options that we don't want to see. So you can see we've got hide and remove. So we could say hide at a glance, hide activity. So let's hide at a glance. We'll say remove the WordPress events and news and we'll remove the empty dashboard panel. So we now end up with just activity, recent comments and quick draft. We hit save on there. Come back over to our dashboard once that's saved and take a look. We now have a customized panel with those options in there. So we can easily drag those boxes wherever we want them. And because we've styled this in the same colors and so on that we've used in these different sections that are part of the actual slate design, everything kind of ties in nice and neat. So that's really all there is to use in this. Like I say, there are a ton of other options in there that we can sort of choose to use if we want to. And that's how we can go about creating a much fresher, much more user-friendly dashboard inside WordPress. Also going through the process of either branding it the way that we want to, which is entirely up to you if you want to white label it completely, or you can leave your WordPress things in place, just customize the aspects that you want, including your login, your dashboard and so on. Hopefully what you can see from this is it's very simple and you can also leverage the power of that dynamic information from Elementor Pro, pull in some user data and make it so much more welcoming and so much more personalized for anybody that logs into this dashboard. Well, hopefully you found something useful in this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to get your feedback on what we cover and what you'd like to see covered in future videos. I try to answer as many questions and comments as possible, but I can't answer everything, unfortunately. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below. And if you'd like to help and support the channel and what we do, please consider using any of the affiliate links. It costs you no more money, but does give a small percentage back to the channel and helps what we do keep creating content for you. As always, my name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.